Now we're going to talk about, and I'm going to draw up some of our favorite play action passes. And one of the first play action passes, of course, we're going to run is our power pass. And we do call it just 26 or 27 power pass. This would be 26 power pass. All right. Again, let's say we have an eight-man front. Now, we have set this play. You know, one thing I always laugh about when we have coaches meetings, we talk about setting up the play action pa passing game. Well, we've been setting them up for 24 years here at Fabus because we've been running the ball for 24 years. So a lot of times we'll even open up the game with a play action pass because teams are so concerned about about uh, stopping our running. We open up with a play action, hit a big play, and, you know, we got them loosened up, and, you know, it really it helps the momentum. But, you know, you, again, being willing to do that uh, first down and, and throwing in situations that will be beneficial for you. When we run power pass, and here we'll start with the wide out. All right, he's a stock. Or we'll even tell him, you know, just don't even come off the line and be lazy, act lazy, which they, they love that one. They love tricking people. But uh, I said just as long as you don't do it when we're actually running a play, a run play, and then the, we call a stock and go. The play with the, the tight end, we're taught he's getting a release, and we call this a, a, a dig, eight yards, all right, right in, over, in here at the flat, not quite the flat, really the curl area. Okay, and then the fullback, this is where the chip comes in. He's going to chip off this man right here into the flats. Okay, and then now what we do with the rest of the offensive line, with the offensive line, this is where our gap protection, and they're coming off low and hard. And this is where that comes in handy too because he can pick off the, we'll get a lot of teams that want to bring this guy off the end of the line. And we can pick him up. 